everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am only gonna be eating Japanese food for the next 24 hours. I'm on a bit of a 24 hour hype right now and I saw one of my friends recently do this video and I haven't done Japanese food for 24 hours so I was like okay I'm gonna give that a go. I've ordered so many bits and pieces from Amazon and I'm really excited because a lot of this stuff, bar sushi, I've never really tried before and yes I'm actually gonna try and attempt to make my own sushi which I've never tried to do before. But yeah I really hope you guys enjoy, if you do please smash a huge thumbs up and other than that let's get started just come into asda to have a look down at the world foods aisle and i'm going to get some of these hello panda biscuits it says they're an original japanese biscuit and i've had these before and they're amazing so i think i'm going to get these ones so no i love these these are the chocolate filled ones they have got so many different noodles and like ramen and stuff i think i'm going to get these look nice i mean it's a spicy but should i give them a go spicy ramen noodles i'm also going to pick up one of these because i don't actually have any drinks to try but this looks really good i've already ordered my sushi making kit but wasabi pays the thing is i don't like wasabi with my sushi but i didn't even realize i could get this in asda i am buying this straight away at teriyaki sauce i love soy sauce don't get me wrong but teriyaki sauce with sushi is 10 10 so i went on to google and i was googling some like traditional japanese dishes and japanese foods that i could try in this video and a very very popular one that i came across was miso soup now when i go to restaurants a lot of my friends always get this but i have never tried it so i ordered well i actually have 10 packs of this now so i really hope i like it but this is the vegan miso soup with toppings this has got tofu wakame and spring onions and the soup is full of flavor and perfect as a quick hot snack love it as well because it's gluten free and i low-key think i might be intolerant to gluten so yeah gluten free miso soup it doesn't actually say that's a lie yes it does i just need to pour it into a bowl and put 160 mils of boiling hot water in it Okay, I've given it a minute to cool down just because it is absolutely scorching, hence why I'm holding the bowl like this. But I love spring onion. I've never tried tofu before, so I don't know what that tastes like, but I feel like I'm gonna like it from the smell. Mmm, can't really explain the taste. It's like, it's definitely not chickeny, but that's what I wanna say. It's a very like homely, warm sort of taste. I guess just kinda tastes how it looks. That's gorgeous though, like I, just, I could finish this whole bowl. I wasn't expecting to like it, but now when I go out to restaurants, like Japanese, like Asian fusion restaurants, so hot. I'm definitely gonna try miso soup. I feel like this is a nice little snack to get me started into the video. So I'm gonna finish this for my lunch and then, I don't know what we're gonna have next. The options are endless, I'm gonna be honest. It is dinner time. Now I'm doing this quite early because I'm gonna attempt, keyword really being attempt here, to make some sushi. I've never tried to make sushi before. So I basically ordered a sushi making kit and then all of the ingredients off of Amazon. I will leave links down below if you do want to buy them. But I've got some sushi rice. I've got soy sauce i have actually got teriyaki sauce that i bought in as when i went yesterday i've got some rice vinegar i've got chopsticks i've got wasabi paste i literally pointed this out in asda not realizing that this was in the sushi kit and then i have got a sushi roll mat and the seaweed the roasted seaweed i think first of all let's open this Maybe I didn't actually need this. No, maybe I did. There's the sushi rolling mat. So I've got two of those actually. So I've got all of these different bits and bobs. Guys, I'm going to have to, unless there's a book in here, I'm going to have to follow a tutorial on YouTube or something because I've not got a clue. Oh my God, are these chopstick holders? Wait, what are these? They're like little ducks. No, I think we have actually got, but it says I need a sushi knife, which I definitely don't have, but I should be able to do it with a normal knife, right? Oh, is that a sushi? Oh no. Oh, I've got a sushi knife. Never mind. Already had a bit of a traumatic afternoon this morning because i was picking up the knife to put in the sink and i accidentally sliced my thumb open on it and i don't have any plasters in the house i was actually sat at the kitchen sink like this for about 25 minutes i'm not a fan of blood okay anyway and i'll just thought I'd put that mini story in there right how to make sushi let's do this i actually am going to put avocado in the middle of mine which i just realized i need to get out of the fridge because i feel like that's just probably going to be the simplest one to do Jesus. Okay, so we've got lots of different parts here. This just seems so overcomplicated. Like, what are all the parts? 
Okay, there we go. Okay, that is what I needed it to look like. Insert B into A. Basically, so I'm just talking to myself here, but that is the sushi there. Put one piece of sushi seaweed on the mold of B, then fill in the rice. Let's get some sushi rice. Oh no, sushi seaweed. That's what I meant, sushi seaweed. We're gonna start off with this. Wow, it feels so strange. Oh my God. Okay, got this. I'm gonna pop this in here like that. I kind of need to stay in like that, I guess. Oh, then fill in the rice smoothly until to the middle height. Okay. Oh, I need to cook this, don't I? I can't do anything until I've cooked the rice. Oh my god, I'm so stupid. I'm actually so stupid. This is going to take ages to cook as well. Right, well, I guess I won't be eating sushi for a while. This is going to take me about 40 minutes to cook the sushi rice, which I really should have thought about before I started making the sushi. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise so I can actually sit now and work out what I fully need to do. And when I come back, I'm going to be a sushi chef. Just watch. And we're back. Only took about 40 minutes. The thing is, that was probably really stupid of me not to cook the rice before I started, but I normally use only Uncle Ben's like packet rice when I'm having rice. I've never made like sushi or anything before where I've needed sticky rice. So um, yeah, it took me a little bit longer than expected. However, it has turned out perfectly. My memory card did say memory card error, but I have already put some rice in it. So I need to fill it halfway up and then pop my filling in. So I'm just gonna get some more of that in. It's like very sticky. So it doesn't really fall off the spoon very easily. And then pack that in here okay that is all packed in and then i'm going to put cucumber in mine so i'm then just going to put the two pieces of cucumber in the middle and just kind of press those down like that. and then i'm gonna go in and put more rice on top if this turns out okay i actually might start making my own sushi i mean not all the time because it does it is quite time consuming but it's really fun to make it like if you were having like a dinner party with your friends or something i feel like it'd be a really fun little activity to do like let's make our own sushi i think these are going to be very big rolls i think i may have put a lot of rice in I'd rather do more than not enough okay the rice is all pressed down and then wrap the rice with the seaweed and then press it firmly with the d tool which is this one here so i'm gonna wrap the seaweed on like that this rice is so sticky like it is actually so sticky it's going everywhere okay that is wrapped and then this is gonna go surely that not that way a bit more so to press hard on the rice there we go <gasps> Wow, oh my god. I think this is actually gonna be really good guys. I mean, I am using a proper sushi kit so you would expect it to work. But you know half the time when I make stuff and I just think it's never gonna work. I actually think this is. Okay, I've pressed firmly with that, so that should be. Did I mean to do that? No, I didn't mean to do that. So let's pop that back on. Just wanted to show you what it looks like in the little kit. And then it says, use the sushi knife to cut the sushi along the B slot. So I just need to cut it like this down the slot. Oh my gosh, this is very exciting. If this has worked out and looks like decent sushi, I'm gonna be so happy. Now this has actually worked, I would love to make some with like loads of different fillings in. So I feel like that'd be so fun. Gently separate the two parts A and B and your sushi is ready. Okay, now I need to figure out how to separate these parts. Oh, maybe pull it down like this. There's not really a gentle way of doing this, I'll be honest. My sushi's stuck. There's really not a gentle way of doing this. This is where it's all gonna go wrong. I'm just gonna lay the sushi onto this mat. I think I'm gonna have to do it this way. I knew this was gonna be too good to be true. I can't get my sushi out. My sushi is stuck in the container. Guys, it's fully stuck. I just knew something was gonna have to go wrong. I can't get it out. It's definitely gotta go downwards. <gasps> Okay, it looks a bit squashed, but let's take it out. Oh, oh my god, it's got like a triangle shape. They're not even circular. Did I not use the circular one? I think I used the triangular one by accident. Well, not by accident, but you know. And then let's take the sushi out. Ah! Oh my god, yay! Right, I'm gonna get all these out. I'm gonna have to hoover after because this sticky rice is going everywhere. Right, I've just got some chopsticks just to take all of these pieces of sushi out. Right, the cucumber's not in there too well the pure happiness i'm feeling right now just because this works something so simple but it has worked oh my god okay i'm gonna tidy all of this up and then we can try it and we'll get some like sauces and stuff <laughs> let's try the sushi i have got here some teriyaki sauce yeah gluten-free teriyaki sauce <sighs> Guys, I know you're probably thinking, babe, you've just made sushi, but for someone who makes a lot of stuff in videos and it never works out, this is very, very exciting. Like I said, now I know that I can make this, I'm definitely gonna make my own sushi more often. That kit just made it so easy. Like I said, I'll link it down below, but it's amazing. Okay, taste time. Love teriyaki sauce for sushi. Maybe a little bit more than soy, actually. 
Mm. That is so nice. It may just taste like normal sushi, really, doesn't it? But wow, I am so impressed with myself. Okay, I'm gonna sit and eat my dinner now. Then we're gonna actually make some bubble tea, which is gonna be really fun. I don't know if I really like bubble tea. We're gonna give it a go because I feel like I need to try it because it's Japanese. Yeah, 10 out of 10 for this. So excited and so happy that I finally made my own sushi. It is bubble tea time. I am gonna leave this as the last thing I'm gonna make for a while, and then later on we can try a load of Japanese snacks that I also ordered. But the sushi she filled me up but I just haven't had any Japanese drinks so I thought bubble tea would be the perfect one. Again I got this kit off of Amazon. It was about £10 and it serves three different bubble teas. So the first thing that I need to do is there's instructions written on the inside. So this first of all I need to pour 150ml of boiling water over the tea bag and leave to brew. This says it's the Tea Shed Bubble Tea Premium Kalon Okay, I have popped the tea bag in there and I'm now just going to leave that to brew. It says I then need to stir the syrup sachet into the brew tea. So this is, oh, this is passion fruit bubble tea. The little pink packets are actually really cute. These are the boba balls. These are the parts I think I didn't like last time. But passion fruit actually sounds very nice. So this might be really good. You also need a load of ice. I actually have this mini ice tray that I got from Amazon. And it's just got tiny little squares of ice in it. So I'm just going to pour those into my glass. Probably would have benefited here from having bigger ice cubes because this is not going to be enough to fill the glass. But at least there's some ice in here. Okay, that's filled with ice. And then I'm just going to take this tea bag out and let's pour the syrup into the water. Wow, there's a lot of syrup in here. And then it says to give that a stir. And then I'm going to pour this into my glass. Give it a little mix around with the ice and then it is time to add the boba. It says just add a third of the boba. Wow, this smells amazing. Oh my God, okay, it actually smells really good. So I'm going to add a third of this into here. Give that a little mix and then it says top with some cold water. Okay, here we go. Here is my finished bubble tea and then it also comes with three paper straws. So let's give that a little mix. Okay, so it's time. Mmm, she tastes like passion fruit flavoured water, kind of. Oh, I got one of the little balls then. Okay, pleasantly surprised here. It's really good. I didn't think I was going to like it because I tried it before. And I just remember thinking to myself, oh, that's not for me. But I may have changed my mind. Guys, this video is introducing me to lots of new things. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. Bubble tea, I'm going to give this a good 8 out of 10. I think it would actually be nicer if it was like really, really cold. Mine's kind of like lukewarm-ish because the house on my ice cubes are. But cheers. I really like bubble tea now. As you can tell, I have fake tanned and I've washed my hair. I had a bit of a pamper evening because i'm off to london for pretty much the whole week well for the rest of this week i'm going wednesday to sunday so i thought i would sort myself out and obviously i haven't washed my tan off because i'm sleeping in it so please ignore that but i have got a big bag here of japanese snacks i've been saving these till bedtime so i can sit in bed and i can indulge in them all i think i'm going to save a few of them to have my breakfast tomorrow just because i have quite a small breakfast plan so i might save some of these even if i can get into this bag right now again i actually got these off of amazon but i actually would have already seen when I went into Asda. They had a ton of Japanese snacks in there as well. Okay, being completely transparent, um, I can't read any of what these actually say or what they are, but this looks nice. It kind of looks like a fruit roll up, like a fizzy one. We've got some of these sweets here that look a bit like, a bit like breadstick sort of sweets. We've got these that kind of look like glazed sort of bananas we've got this a cheese app so i'm going to assume that's going to be cheese i've got this big fish and i think i'm going to save this for breakfast i'm pretty sure i've got two of these in here actually so i'm going to save that for tomorrow but there's so much in here like so so much i don't like i said i don't know what half of this is oh <gasps> Popping candy. Oh my god. This looks like a wafer. Oh no, yeah, choco cream bourbon biscuit. These look so yummy. That's like a custard. That's like a mini custard cream. Okay, I want to try that one. And then we've got like mini sweets. What are these here? Oh, these feel like wafers. Everything kind of feels like wafery. Biscuit. You get loads in here. Oh, crispy. Chocolatey rice cereal. So we'll save that for the morning as well. But yeah, there's absolutely loads in here. Oh, we have another one of those fishes. This one is like a normal maybe chocolate flavour. Then this one is like a strawberry flavour. Okay, I'm going to try this. This looks like a Krispy cream biscuit. It's like really broken inside. Okay, it's kind of snapped in half, but... Hmm, I'm not too sure on that. It's like a biscuit with cream, but it's not white uh, custard cream. It's more fresh cream. Mm, that's okay. I'll give it like a four out of ten. This, the cheese one. Let's try this. It's like one big cheesy biscuit. Oh my god. 
It's like a gigantic what's it? That's good. Mm. I'm gonna give that like a seven out of ten. These look interesting. I'm not entirely sure what they are. Yatari. Wow. No idea what they are, but they look interesting. Let's try this one. This is like the rainbow thing that looks like a fruit roll up. Oh, it's very sticky. Can we pull it out? Yeah. This is like my sort of sweet. Oh, missed my mouth. Mmm, fruit salad flavour. Not sure I mean. It is super late right now, so I'm gonna head to bed and I don't want to eat too many sweets before I go to sleep because I am trying to fall asleep pretty quickly tonight. But I will see you guys in the morning for my breakfast and we can rummage our way through the rest of some of these snacks. Good morning everyone. It is the next morning. It is actually about 10 to 10 and I am off to London today. I'm gonna do a weekly vlog, I think, so look out for that. That'll be coming very soon. But I have got a lot of snacks here to try. Some of them I'm actually not gonna try because of how early it is, and I actually forgot. That I had these, but another Japanese food that a lot of people said to try was ramen. And I bought these when I was in Asda, they were 65p a packet, but I completely forgot that I had them. So I'm gonna save these just in my cupboard to have another time. But yeah, they sell these in Asda for 65p, which I thought was really good. Then I got this drink again, this is from the World Foods Iowa in Asda, and it's called Mogu Mogu Lychee Flavored Drink. But I don't know if I like the flavor of lychee, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a go. There was another one as well, I think it was like a yellowy passion fruit one but naturally I just went for the pink. Mmm, smells kind of nice. Mmm, that's actually really nice. Very fresh. I don't know if there's like bits at the bottom. Like as I'm like spinning it around, I can see little pieces in the drink. Don't know whether that's pieces of lychee or what, but then I got these Hello Panda biscuits. Oh my God, I love these. They've sold these in the UK for a really long time. Like they always used to be in um, home bargains every time I'd go when I was like a kid and we'd get loads of sweets and chocolate and stuff. So I already know that I love these, hence why I saved them for my breakfast. <gasps> I have another thing for my breakfast. Oh my God, one second. How could I forget my favorite thing in the world? Little Moon's mochi. Mochi, mochi, I'm not sure how you say it, but these are the chocolate ganache ones. I hope they're selling dates. I bought these two days ago. Does it say a date on them? No. Oh, 23rd. I'm pretty sure. Sure. It's the 24th today. I think it's the 24th. I'm awful at dates. Honestly, guys, ever since I left school, I don't know what day of the week it is. I don't know what date it is. I'm awful at that. Oh my god, I love little moons though. They're so nice. My breakfast is super unhealthy today and I'm looking for it. The chocolate ones are the best ones. Mm. They're so much better as well when they're in the fridge and not the freezer. Little moons are my favorite thing. I'm going to save those to have. Just before I leave the train station, back to the Hello Pandas. These would actually be really nice cold. Maybe I should have put these in the fridge. Mm. The little melted chocolate inside. I'm rating these as solid 10 out of 10. And these are solid 10 out of 10. And then finally, I've got these two like fish biscuit wafer things that I saved from last night. I'm going to open the strawberry one. I love all the packaging of all the Japanese sweets. It's, just, it's so much cuter than the UK's. Okay, comes in like a little tray and it is literally a fish wafer. More of the consistency, I don't like it. It's like a creamy, almost like really melted aero consistency. Mmm, that's definitely strawberry. It tastes like strawberry shortcake. That is the end of this video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching me eat Japanese food for the last 24 hours. I will hands up say Japanese food I think is some of my favourite food just because I love sushi. It's my go-to everywhere I go and to be honest in the house as well. It's pretty much my go-to. And now I know how to make it. Definitely going to make it more for like dinner parties and stuff because it is so fun to make. But let me know down below what your favourite Japanese snack is or your favorite one that you've seen me eat today in this video and other than that i will see you very soon for a brand new one Mwah. bye